what is up guys it's soul bash and we are back with another video today we are farming some mount shards that exactly what we're gonna do all right the way you can get these are for one i picked this one up from the lost city hard which is a team instance that you can do and once you get it from there you can actually come into pickpocketing and that's where you can pickpocket it from either other players or the I guess negligible NPCs that are gonna always have something if you have it and you know you have a lot lower chance of getting it which I'm doing right now I'm using the low chance still five times the only reason I'm doing that is because I really don't want to take any of these away from anybody else that has them and plus I've got plenty of fortitude that I can afford to do this on the character and we're just gonna continue to plunder still five times until we do pick up this item and I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do with this item and what we're gonna do to make this mount a lot better than what he already is now there are four different ones of these and if you go into your mounts you can actually click on them under the mount and it'll tell you the respective place that you can pick these up at this particular one that I'm farming like I said it come from the lost city and we're doing rather well we've got three more to go uh, hopefully this won't take but maybe a couple hundred more fortitude to do um, I've averaged it out it's taken me roughly anywhere between a hundred and twenty five to a hundred and fifty fortitude to get each piece already had one piece so we're looking at roughly spending anywhere from possibly 500 to 600 fortitude just to pick up this piece for this mount but this is going to come as a huge upgrade to my mount and using it in Warpath and in Battle Royale which that's where you get your kills that's where you're gonna get your extra stuff to level up mounts more or possibly get another mount that is gonna be insane now I actually already have this but I'm going to show you how to farm it right here as we're doing we're going through just using up fortitude trying to pickpocket this from some of these NPCs I've only got five left so it's only gonna do one so let's dump I'm gonna say it's about a hundred more shards uh, I'm sorry 100 more fortitude into this and we should be okay after that let's see what we get here we're down to 75 now this is gonna take it to 50 and that should have done it right there yes it does now we have all six pieces we're going to synthesize this all right let's take a look at it really really quick 2500 damage 5% hit rate 6% crit and 6% crit 8% crit damage I'm sorry it's a pretty nice increase just from one little piece but you take that one piece as you can see that's where it comes from nightmare room or lost city you take that one little piece add it with the other four put them on your pet with the quick equip now the equip tab which I covered in the other video when I got this mount I didn't know what it was then but I found out what it was all these shards that you get for your mount they go into here you see I have two extras that I've been farming of course like I said I already had one of these and you can see the increase that it gave me from this all right you're gonna get 40,000 2,500 damage 6% crit resist 5% hit rate dodge 5% crit and crit damage 4% and 12% respectively 60,000 health 5% dodge 4% crit resist and 10% crit reduction and 2500 damage hit rate crit and crit damage from the one we were just farming now I do believe I have a few pieces I can feed him to get him up to level 10 I do so we're gonna go ahead and do that add that into our pet as well we're always gonna have that attribute though and let's go ahead and tear this guy up to two star which is going to turn him into the blue fireborn now look at the health damage hit rate dodge crit crit resist crit damage and crit reduction increases that you're getting across the board it is a huge increase it looks like it's an average of almost 40 to tw about 40 percent on each one that we're going up now some of them do stay the same but look at that that is a huge increase from just the base pet now guys 
have any questions about this you know where i got any of this stuff from feel free to ask me leave them in the comments below i'll be happy to answer them doesn't look like too much change on the physical view wise of what the pet looks like but you know maybe it'll get you know some better graphics or something like that as we continue to do this now i don't have any more items that i've farmed yet and this should give me a 10 percent bonus to my attributes while i'm on the pet have any questions guys feel free to ask as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day